Hey, 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 how you doing? Happy Wednesday. It's Leona, how are you? I hope you are well and good. Welcome to the stream. Come on in, come and relax. Get your cup of tea going and let's chill out. Let's make some art today. So today on the stream, I'm gonna be making some collage art. Really, really simple, really, really easy to follow, really quick to grasp. You're only gonna need a few materials. If you wanna follow along, all you really need are some magazines. So just some like magazines that you've got, whether you've got free ones that have been in the post or you go and purchase some. You're gonna need some like wrapping papers, colored papers, junk mail, anything you've got that's like paper that you can cut up and create some artwork out of. And of course, you're gonna need some scissors and some glue. Any scissors will do and any glue will do. And you're gonna need something to stick it onto. So I've got a sketchbook here in front of me and we're gonna be going through it. I'm gonna to click to the other camera and you can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna have a really lovely time. Like I said, it's super, super, super easy. And collage is a really nice, quick thing that you can do, a quick way of creating art. So you can get some beautiful images just down and there and ready. You could even use them as inspiration to make other art, you know what I mean? But I love collage because a lot of the artwork that I've done in the past has been very lengthy and complex and very like perfection focused. And for me, collage is a way to kind of break free from all of that, just do something that's like simple, beautiful, colorful, readily available and just really easy so it makes me feel really relaxed so i hope it does you as well um with these streams the way it works is that you can either follow along or you can just come in and hang out we have a lovely time we just have a nice chit chat as the stream goes along um so it's really up to you if you do just decide to watch it's really nice because watching art is scientifically proven to lower your heart rate so if you want to get relaxed watching art is a really great way to do that so i hope that this stream brings you that today hey alan how you doing hey stranger been a while how are you welcome into the room how's it going Pooja, how you doing? Hey Leona, good to see you. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Your art is so beautiful. I've been really enjoying seeing it on Facebook. It's super, super gorgeous, Pooja. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, keep up the good work, right? <laughs> so I hope you've been well. Let me know if you can hear the music. Let me know if it's too loud. Let me know if it's too quiet. Um, and I'm going to show you the pieces that I finished from last stream. Um, I had such a lovely time and my intention was to come back and do some acrylic painting but I kind of just want to do some more collage because I only got a chance to finish these ones off before and now I want to create another one. I haven't had any time to create anything else. I've, had, I've been going back in person and doing all my teaching and all that so I'm really excited to get going to it so let me show you what how they came out so here you go here's the two pieces if you were watching on the previous stream I kind of wasn't sure what I was gonna create because that's what I really love about collage art is that you kind of what you have dictates what the artwork is going to turn out like so it really depends just what images you've got and how it's going to be and i love that i love that kind of like just sense of discovery what's going to happen you don't quite know so these two came out of all my travel mags and uh yeah the central images were what guided them which is what i'm going to do today again is find a central image and then work around on the background and create something easy. Thank you, oh, it's my pleasure, so beautiful. You just got such a lovely touch, just so gentle and gorgeous. Uh, I really loved them. Uh, so yeah, so this one was kind of like, became like this cool colored relaxation picture and this one became like the warm colored exploratory, but still contemplative image i actually did title them something what did i title them in the end i think i did i write it down oh yeah here we go oh yeah so cool contemplation 
left con oh pink pink contemplation and cool reflect relaxation pink contemplation and cool relaxation so that was called pink contemplation and cool relaxation there we go so i'm pretty happy with how they turned out yay uh and they just took 90 both of these together took 90 minutes and then i went back to them and just added a few bits like here i added this i added this i added these so i probably spent maybe another like 20 minutes half an hour so maximum these took two, is two hours which is pretty good going right it's just like an evening session just sitting down chilling out looking at some magazines so what we're going to do today is a similar thing we're going to grab our magazines we're going to find a central image that speaks to me let me know if you see something as well because i want these streams to be interactive as well so if you see anything that you really like let me know um and also like i said you can use these streams if you if you don't particularly want to do collage art you can use these streams as a time to just um be held accountable for creating your art so if you have any issues with getting to your art on a regular basis so if you're like super busy and you're like when am i supposed to schedule in some time to make stuff for myself these streams are a really good way to do that so you can sit in with me you can come you can chat in the chat box or you can just leave me on while you're making something and we can make stuff together so it's a really nice way of doing that that's my original intention with these streams hey stranger leona how you doing how's it going have you been how's life summer is nearly coming to a close can you believe it i think we've only got about a week left of summer what are we on the 15th the 21st is the equinox isn't it oh my god oh my god this time is going it's nearly autumn but i love autumn do you guys like autumn let me know if you like autumn i love autumn so much all right so let's get to it so i'm gonna choose i've got let's just get a nice fresh page there so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and find a central image first so you can do it like that or you can literally just pick out any images you like so as you're looking through all the pile of stuff that you've gathered just have a look see what's going on see what you've got and just pick things as you go right so i'm gonna firstly try and find a picture of something central so probably a female hopefully relaxing or looking on an adventure not too active <laughs> i know this magazine is called active traveler but i don't want i don't want to be like kayaking through ironically <laughs> kayaking through anything <laughs> I don't want to be on a on a on a mountain bike. I nearly said motorbike. I don't want to be on a motorbike either. <laughs> but I'm also going to go backwards in this magazine, which might be quite strange. But I'm going to go backwards. Uh, so yeah, so this I've never purchased this magazine before. Now I just had a quick skim through in the shop, and I was like, oh, this has got lots of good images of people in it. And if you want a lot of people in your artwork you want to try and find magazines that have a lot of people in them right you could have like fashion magazines but for me that's not very inspiring it might be for you but obviously there's loads of people in fashion magazines but they're all like just standing about <laughs> and for me that is not <laughs> very inspirational <laughs> so let me know how you've been in the chat how are you <laughs> let me know if a fashion magazine is inspirational for you he looks really happy <laughs> as you do this is, i mean this is gorgeous images if you're into bikes and stuff this is kind of like a perfect magazine but i'm not trying to advertise this magazine but at the same time oh he looks really good if that was a lady i'd go for that he looks really happy there is on the waterfall actually that looks like iceland that looks like the waterfall i've been to but it's not so we're gonna just skim through enjoy looking at all the beautiful imagery look at that <gasps> t 
too nice. So yeah. What we're gonna find in here. I feel like I've got a really croaky voice today. I've gotta keep drinking my tea. What tea have you got? Let me know what you've got. I've got mint tea. Can you see the mint leaves in there? There you go. Got a bit of mint tea going on. Woo. Now this is fabulous. This is really cool. This is speaking to me because it looks like a journey, a pathway into something fabulous. So I'm going to take this one out. Oh, I've got to make sure. Oh, hold on. I'm going to go this way. I want to actually like get rid of the picture that I like. Yeah, that's all right. So we're collecting, we're collecting things. Let's collect, let's collect. I mean, I also really love that, but we'll see, we'll wait. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. <gasps> this, look at that, super gorgeous. Super, super gorgeous. So we're gonna take that out. I quite like her actually, she looks pretty chill. Well, they just look a little bit frustrated, which I don't know why you would be frustrated if you're sitting on a rock by a gorgeous lake. Like, why would that be frustrating? Maybe she had a bad time on the bike. <laughs> She's like, mm, I'm drinking passion flower tea. Are you? That's supposed to be so good for relaxation, isn't it? Passion flower, chamomile, skull cap. What else? Hops is really good. Valerian. I've actually haven't tried passion flower tea before, but it is supposed to be super, super good. Is it tasty? I'm keeping on having a look. Is there anything else we can find? So I've hopped onto the stream today. It was a bit of a last minute decision. But I want to get back into doing my weekly streams again because I really miss doing them. And now that I'm back in person and rocking and rolling, I reckon I can get to it every week. Apart from the week of the masterclass, which is the first Wednesday of the month. Ooh, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? But I'm not feeling inspired. I'm not feeling really inspired by any of these actually. I wanted to find a. She says, and this is a good one. She looks very happy. She looks warm by the fire. Maybe we could make this a bit of an autumnal picture. <gasps> Do you remember all the paintings we did last year at autumn? We did so many gorgeous. I'm gonna have to pull them out actually. We'll have to have a little look for all the ones that were created. Now I like her, she looks very nice, she looks chilled and relaxed, fireplace, warm, cosy. I'll probably take him out, no offence to him. And the tent, because we don't do tents anymore, I'm 42 years old. Don't do tents anymore really. <laughs> yeah, drink it before bed, it tastes good too, does it? Oh well that's really good to know. Because I did wonder, I saw it like I saw it in a book. I've got this book called The Holistic Herbal. Have you heard of that? Uh, I can't remember the author, but it's like a catalogue of all like herbal, like remedies and stuff, and what is good for which part of the body. Um, and I remember reading it in there. So she's good. She looks nice and chill. Is there anyone else? Oh, that bird's really cute. Okay, I'm getting drawn to the bird. I'm getting drawn to the bird. Let's cut the little bird out. Oh, just. All right, we're good. Oh, now we've got her as well. Although she just looks a little bit too like, I don't want to have a backpack on. You know what I mean? <laughs> in this artwork I don't want to be backpacking I definitely don't want to be going anywhere near that <laughs> so let's get 
anything else from here this i'm liking this is could be quite nice for a background it sort of looks actually it looks quite warm doesn't it i don't know about that we'll have to see she looks quite good oh they look nice like a nice little cute couple looking over the horizon all right let's go for both of these and see how we're gonna end up what's on the back there nothing much so we've got all of those i kind of i am feeling a bit drawn to the girl with the fireplace well the fire not the fireplace the fire feeling like that could be the one lots of this big rock here and people cycling around rocks and stuff yes the best herbal book i've got it someone called hoven oh you got it as well really hey i remember that rock in lagomoria is that what this one they keep going on about this one it's like in loads and loads of things uh i think this well this one's in the alps i don't know where the other one was you look like the same rocket. Well, she looks happy in the rain. This is a nice picture. I like this house in the... This is nice. Angeli, how you doing, beautiful? Happy Wednesday. How are you? How's life? Welcome in. Thank you for joining. We're doing more collage because I know I said I wasn't going to do it again. And technically I meant it because at that point I meant that I was going to come back at the end of the month. But as you can see, I wanted to come back sooner than that and I'm ready to come back sooner than that. So I was like, look, I want to do... I want to do some collage if that's all right with you you can join in i'm talking about the process you can treat it like a class you can join in with me or you can do whatever you're doing and just get creative you know what i mean so uh angeli let me show you the ones that i finished off here are the finished pieces very happy especially with this one this one i feel like I could have done something else around here but this one like I'm super happy with I really really like it a lot let me know how you've been let me know what you're drinking I've got some mint tea on the go and we're getting some images together now I've just gone through one magazine and I am torn between using her the couple or this girl by the fire which i think i'm gonna go for because every time i'm like i don't know i don't know i don't know so i might just even cut this out now so i've chosen my central image and i'm gonna work around this i might not cut this like perfectly amazingly well i might just kind of like cut it out in a basic way just so I know what I'm gonna go for. I do like the fact that she's in a background that's very green. I really, really like that a lot. I'm gonna chop him off, I'm so sorry. But it's time to go, see you later. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, college is so much fun. I might continue my Black Excellent or POC Excellent series. My love, I think you should. And I think we should all acknowledge that Angeli, after the last stream, went off and made a beautiful collage titled black excellence which is so good she got loads and loads of beautiful people and collaged them all together and looks gorgeous so yeah grab whatever you've got babe grab some stuff and let's collage together now i'm absolutely loving this picture so much um but again it, i feel like it could become a double spread because i can't put that underneath her because she doesn't want to be sitting on water i mean that rock is almost exactly the same as that rock but i don't want to sit anymore so i don't know if that's going to work but i don't know again i could be doing another 
double page spread you never know I've got some birds here that look super cute so I'm gonna leave them there I've also got this which I really really like which is like a road however it's not gonna go with this because she's sitting down in a chilled out environment she's not wanting to get up and go right now right so as I'm choosing and gathering my images and I've chosen my central images or central image you might have one or two that you really like you want to then analyze and decide what's going to happen with it where it's going to go what other images you need to create your picture so i'm knowing now that this one that i gathered i'm not going to use so i'll put that to the side and keep it for another time there's this one which is absolutely lush which would look really nice like just placing her there just like yes it looks gorgeous i don't know if it's a little bit too sort of blocking like i wouldn't mind there being some kind of view happening behind her so this is why i like this one because you've got these kind of like mountain ranges which is really nice so i'm not sure but i'll leave it there for now because it's such a nice green <gasps> if susan was here she would be appreciating this green right now uh uh, ba, 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 ba. I like it to look psychedelic on the left. Get down and groove. Yes. It does a little bit, doesn't it? With the, um, that kind of like undulating ground there. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I kind of went all colourful. But still feel like it needs something else there. But it's fine for now. It's fine for now. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Chai and Earl Grey. Half and half. Ooh. That sounds interesting. I could really do with a chai, actually. That would be really nice. I just feel like I'm really dehydrated today because I've got such a croaky voice. I don't think I've been drinking enough water. Do you guys drink enough water? Let me know. I feel like I always have to remind myself. Okay. And we've got this one, which is gorgeous. Couple vibes. Like it, but not for now. We've got this one where she's walking off. That's going to be for something else. Actually, that would look really nice with the road picture, wouldn't it? And then we've got this kind of thing, which I like. So let's let's get this. I quite like the idea of there being some buildings in this. I like the idea that maybe there's some buildings in the background, maybe. Because this little house here is really lovely. So maybe I like I do, I do also love a bit of water. Now that's looking really nice, isn't it? Like if you imagine that was not there. Sky sky. She's chilled out in the mountains and she's gonna go back home soon. I mean that's looking nice. Yes. Anyway, we need to move on. We need to get more stuff. Because we don't have enough stuff to create this picture yet so let's have a little look in here so i'm going to move this out of the way oh you know what a really really good top tip is when you're making collage and you've placed some things but you need to move on and find other things and maybe you've got a small desk or something like that if you put a sheet of acetate over the top it helps it stop moving about but I don't think I've got any acetate to hand. I wish I would have brought some out of my cupboard. Um, but acetate, which is clear, transparent film, if you put that over the top, it just stops everything moving about. Oh, so I wish I'd grabbed some now. Anyway, let's have a look what we can find. So we're going to continue to gather, but we've analysed and decided, and we know that's the general thing we want to go for. Although, this is looking lovely, I feel like maybe some buildings would be good. So I'm thinking buildings, I'm thinking greenery, I'm thinking that kind of thing. So let's see what we can find in 101 Greatest Heritage Sites, which is a gorgeous, mag gorgeous magazine. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I actually looked through this the other day because I realised I hadn't even started looking through it. And I was a bit like, oh my god, this is so nice. And if you're in a place which is in lockdown, or you've been in lockdown, or 
something like that or you've just got to be at home or you're self-isolating or anything like that looking at these kind of magazines will give you so much joy like seriously you can just look at all these places imagine you're there create some artwork imagine you're there i mean it's all super relaxing right so we've got lots of water things happening not keen on that so i want greenery i'll tell you what actually i'm going to start from the beginning because i think this at the beginning of this is europe if i remember correctly yeah so let's go for the beginning actually i want to see if we can get some oh it's nice the cosmos there let's see what buildings we can get let's see what greenery we can get i don't know i don't want stonehenge no this is quite nice but i'm not feeling that mountains no greenery could be maybe baby <laughs> maybe maybe not quite sure let's see what else we got let's see oh a bit of gaudy a bit too much oh how nice is that <gasps> it's in the lake district omg take me to the lake district right now look at that omg and this is really nice this one might work actually because it's quite looks like quite a nice vista there both of these are nice so let's give these a whirl Ooh, and this one well this one tears a little bit nicer Right, let's see what else we got. What else have we got? Um, I mean, I was thinking, oh, Krakow. Don't know. Ooh, that's lovely. That's a gorgeous image, isn't it? Oh man, I miss the water. When's the last time you were near the sea, Angeli? That's gorgeous, isn't it? Or a lake, or a river. I really like that. I just don't feel it's going to go with this one. Oh, wait. No, it won't. Oh, this is nice. Oh, Jurassic Coast. Oh, I've been there. Uh that could work but it's like the wrong angle i always feel like if it was it could go up there so not quite <gasps> Ooh, that is such a nice picture look at that guys look at that waterfall how lovely is that so nice not sure not sure not sure no 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 sometimes when you're doing this kind of thing images that are too familiar are not good so for example that is just the tower of london it's like seven miles away from where i live it's not inspiring to me do you know what i mean it's like a beautiful building but i don't want to put it in a sort of inspirational piece of art that i'm trying to create so that's quite fascinating isn't it like if it's too familiar like i want it to be like Oh, a little bit sort of mystical and magical you know I like a bit of mystical and magical you know Seattle the water is so clean and clear and I loved how cold it was <gasps> oh was that your when you went away in the summer nearly a month ago yeah <gasps> oh, I look like you had a fab time babe it looks so good look like you went here there and everywhere <gasps> the doorways where do the doorways lead doorways are great what a great symbol for a piece of art doorways possibilities what's behind the door where did the where does this archway lead what's around the corner you know 
tower was also like a bad place. Yeah, I mean, loads of people died there. It's true. <laughs> it's true. You don't want that in an inspirational, motivational artwork. <laughs> Alex, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. How are you? Yeah, just came on, just decided last minute. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. How are you? How's your week been so far? Looking for some more pictures. We're doing another collage because I enjoyed the other one so much. That lion is super cool. But I feel like I don't want to put it in the picture because then it'll be like, oh my god, there's a lion. Oh, this is nice. I quite like these. <gasps> this is in the India, isn't it? No, it's not. It's in Jordan. Leona, get it right. It looks like the one in India. You know, like the buried. It's a different thing I'm thinking of. I think it's actually later in the book. Um, but I do quite like that. I'm going to cut this one out. And I'm going to put this one under in my pile of things. I'm liking that because it looks a bit nondescript. You know what I mean? It looks not quite, even though it is a ruin, it, does, it looks, could it be a ruin? Is it a ruin? Is it not a ruin? I tell you where it reminds me of. It reminds me of a place I used to walk when I was a child. It reminds me of a ruin that used to be there, this massive house. But obviously in a slightly different style <laughs> i think it's weird that it's there because it was like a prison yeah it's true right i think the only redeeming feature now is that it's got the crown jewels there but it isn't a place i would recommend to visit if you came over to the uk like i don't i just think there's plenty more more exciting places to go more interesting places to go but whatever floats your boat really you know you might be really into that kind of thing there's another image. So this is Jordan, isn't that interesting? In Petra in Jordan. Wow, look at this, South Africa. We're going all the way around the world now. Pyramids. Don't want pyramids in my artwork. They're nice, but they're not elegant, if you know what I mean. I want something that's like a bit beautiful. Pyramids are great though, don't get me wrong. Oh, and then, spices that look like the pyramids look at that for a little bit of editing there the editor's work here we got pyramids and you turn over and there's spicy pyramids <laughs> i like what the editor was doing there uh i think it's in jerusalem i forgot the structure or ruin that's featured in indiana jones and the last crusade <gasps> really Maybe it is. I mean, this is like the world's greatest heritage sites. This is, I think there's about, there's a lot of heritage sites in the world. But this is 101 examples of them. I'm not sure. I think it actually says in the beginning how many. Yeah, there you go. 1,100. So there's 1,100 heritage sites. So it's got to be. Jordan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. P.S. Your recent videos have been really helpful. Oh, yeah? Have they been helpful for some of your artwork? I hope so. That's why I'm making them. Uh, ooh, Grand Canyon vibes. This is great, but for something else. This is great, but for something else. I need more images of buildings oh my gosh that is amazing another lake similar to the other one in perspective that's a really interesting thing to bear in mind is if you are using travel magazines the perspective makes all the difference of how you're placing your images so we know we've got the girl with the fire and she's sitting on some solid ground so we can't then put her in a lake it's not going to be right right it's got to be like, it's got to look right. It's got to have perspective. Trees, no. This is interesting. Where is that? Look at this. Is it Canada? Argentina. <laughs> it's the second guess. And it's wrong. <laughs> 
are you another doing another stream in one or two weeks because you have done one now um i'm gonna be doing i'm doing definitely definitely doing one at the end of the month so that's 100 percent but i want to get back to doing my weekly stream so i should be here next week yes because i want to do it so the only other one is the master class on the first wednesday so first wednesday of the month master class then live stream live stream live stream right hey oh lovely the color jenna thank you zach how you doing thank you for popping in look at this check that out so varied like look at all this kind of autumnal foliage then you've got amazingly still lake and then you've got all these mountains and then like snow capped mountains which are reflected in the water i mean there's some great pictures with reflections in in this magazine for sure this is like all happening but i'm still looking for greenery buildings oh my god a temple st still not elegant enough for me a little bit boxy for this particular artwork that i'm doing i want to like keep it elegant keep it fabulous that's what i'm trying to go for i mean this could work in the backgrounds again i don't know if it's too spiky not sure not sure keep going so i hope that all these pointers that i'm giving you so every time i'm looking at an image i'm saying like either about the perspective of it what kind of building it is whether it's like got too much water or enough water enough sky it's all going to help you in kind of deciding which images to choose right so whenever you're doing a collage similar to this and also you've got to think of like aerial pictures as well so this one was obviously taken by a drone so you know that's going to give a whole another viewpoint to your artwork so if you're starting off you might want to think if i do choose a lot of pictures from an aerial perspective from above then you want to collect all those kind of images right oh so gorgeous the Taj Mahal as you know i did another picture with the Taj Mahal in it i'm loving the Taj Mahal but not for now it's another gorgeous Taj Mahal oh i might use this one Uzbekistan, yes please, get down on it, loving that, that's the kind of elegance I'm looking for, so beautiful, so so beautiful, alright, let's keep that, I'm a bit, I don't know about the Taj Mahal because I've already used it, but it could work, oh my god isn't that a lovely picture of Mount Fuji, with all the blossom oh my god that looks amazing 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 <gasps> this is so beautiful oh my gosh what if she's nestled in some greenery and then looking out on this that could work hey halo how you doing happy wednesday how are you loving the new logo oh yes get down and groove thank you angie for letting me know the other is on i know it was a bit late notice guys i know it's late notice today i was just like i really want to do some collage so i'm gonna come on and do some collage make it into a tutorial let's go and we'll be back to painting next time right let's get some collage in and also let's get the projector on right gotta get my little fireplace going got to keep getting warm by the fire now that summer is nearly over right let me know how you've been i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good i just want to like do some collage i will show you in a minute i'll show you my finished ones from last time and i haven't had a chance apart from finishing those ones to come back and do some more this is really fabulous i'm going to use this for another piece though because that makes just such a nice edge, doesn't it? But not for now. That's really nice. That could work, actually. That's really nice as well. All right, so we're getting some good ones now. We're getting some good ones. We're going to put that there. That's aerial view, so no to that. It's a no from me. 
Uh, I did want some more buildings, really. That just looks a bit dirty, that one. See, that's a beautiful shape. Like, that building is gorgeous. But just, like, restore it or something because it needs a bit of TLC. Like, do I just get a pressure washer on it? <laughs> get get a pressure or what get a pressure washer on them ruins no don't do that because they probably break <laughs> i don't know if you said uh or no but are you gonna do yes yes i am still yes yes alex this is just an additional one uh yeah no worries i'm pretty beat too oh my love we'll just relax i hope you can hear the music Relax, take a deep breath. Okay, I think. I think we're good. I think we've got I think we got enough for now. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look, guys. Let's have a little look at the results of what we've got. And let's see what we can do here. My intention is just to do one side. So my intention is only just to do this side, even though last time I got really excited and did a double spread. But we've got her. She's the star of this show today. She's looking comfortable. And I'm all about that right now. <laughs> I'm all about it. It's probably just really old, yeah. And there's me saying, get a pressure washer on it. <laughs> don't ever do that with an old building it'll just fall apart um but yeah restoration as well just costs a fortune right but yeah she's looking comfortable i'm all about comfort i don't know about you guys right now but the comfort level is a maximum <laughs> comfort levels maximum so that's why i'm very much drawn to this picture right now she's by a fire we're about to hit autumn or fall and uh, I want to get in, back into like making fires again, chilling out, relaxation. So loving this girl, loving this whole atmosphere, loving it. Right, so we're going to put her in an, in an environment. We've got a bit of Scotland happening. We've got a bit of the Himalayas happening here. I'm just going to cut this off because this one looks very nice. I like the way that this one's in a valley. So that's giving me some good like ideas for that. Well, actually, I just fold. I might need to fold my sketchbook. I tell you what, here you go, Halo. Look, check it out. Check it out. These are the ones that I finished last time. The lovely lady relaxing in blue. I added some more bits here and here and here and some shadows. And then this one, I added some flowers and added this. So we've got my warm and my cool all happening yeah on holiday cleaning and desecrating old rides <laughs> yeah can we clean up now please can we clean up <laughs> well that was funny that was funny angelie all right so let's see I'm so excited for Halloween. Oh my God, can we have a proper Halloween this year? Yes, we can. I want to go to a fancy dress party for sure. I need to get dressed up in fancy dress. I haven't dressed up in fancy dress for a million years like all you guys haven't either. All right, so this is looking nice. We've got some nice... I don't know about this but I am liking that again there's water so there's water coming here so if I do choose to use this I've got to redirect the water so I'm going to clean and desecrate the old shrines and I'm going to redirect the water Angelie that's what's happening <laughs> we'll leave that I will leave that there for now oh, I just kind of want to look at it so let's leave that there now we've got this fabulousness which is all so gorgeous but maybe that is a little bit too mystical for what we're going for maybe we are going for like you know because are you going to be sitting anywhere near this view with a fire probably not so we'll say no to that 
so again we're in the analyze and decide phase where we've got everything and we just need to see how it looks all right so we do have this which again no we've got a bird there we've got a bird here be nice if i could get some more birds actually okay so building building now this building is really calling me a little bit more so let's let's cut this out i'm gonna keep the mountains with it i think for now let's keep some mountains happening just for now i have a feeling that i'll probably won't and i'll probably get rid of them but you never know you never know you never know bonus points for anyone who knows what that song is gotta know how it makes me feel do 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 oh see that could be good we're getting views now you see how we've got the same perspective going on that's why these two images go together because they're sort of from the same viewpoint they're like going through right they're just above eye level so it's working that is why they're going together and i'm liking it i mean it could could get rid of that could get rid of one side of the mountain so maybe you could cut down here and just get rid of this and then we've got like rocky bits and oh my god there's a ruin oh my god is it a palace is it a temple is it being used are people sleeping in it does it need a pressure wash <laughs> this is my mood I mean, oh, this is my mood 7 out of 10 this is my mood earlier 4 out of 10 well I hope you mean just a few minutes before you came on the stream and now your mood has been elevated I do hope so uh so yeah i'm quite liking that that's like giving me some interest some intrigue where am i going what is happening is there a strange freaky massive bird somewhere you know who knows all right so again we've got this building which i absolutely love but this is all working for me so this is for another day is there anything on the back oh my god the great wall of china I mean, that's quite nice, isn't it? That stairway there. But then she wouldn't be that chilled by a stairway. Who sits by a stairway that chilled? I mean, maybe you do if you like got to go down a load of stairs and you're like, I'm having a break. I don't care about the stairs. Move away stairs. Stairs goodbye. Then you'd be that happy. But she looks like she's having a good rest. <laughs> So it's improved. You made my mood go up a little. Good. The owner's 11 out of 10 mood helps us all. Oh, 11 out of 10 mood. Yes. Yes. Oh, and that's really sweet you said that, actually, Angelique, because one of my closest friends, she always says to me how I try and make everything an 11. So it's funny you should say that. Right. T. T, T, T okay loving it loving it loving it now this one could kind of work if we forgot about the house and we forgot about the water so if this one just became the sort of hills there at the bottom we're having something pretty fab although i don't think it's quite big enough we need it to go to the bottom there and it's not quite enough I mean, actually, can I turn this this way or this way? How does it look if I turn the image around? It still looks very aerial view, which is why I'm sort of not that pleased about this. Oh, I'll tell you what, should I put my little birds up here? See my little birds here? Here you go. Little bird. Little bird. Um, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, aerial view. So maybe not. But this is all good. This is absolutely beautiful, but it's not going to go. <gasps> Pain. 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 P
how oh my god guys how am i gonna do deal with this look we've got beautiful image plus beautiful image oh my gosh the good news is i'm not going to use either of them today but oh, really want to go to moscow to see this in real life i would be loving to be standing outside there babe halo this is in the uk we are really blessed in the uk to have some amazing places so gorgeous the great wall isn't relaxing to me it's kind of dangerous looking in some parts gorgeous for sure but the high parts remind me of that extra joining labyrinth agree with every single thing you just said <laughs> hold on a minute i'm just gonna light myself a fire next to the great wall of china you don't mind do you <laughs> i'm really liking that that is speaking to me i'm still not sure about losing that part actually that looks good you know why that looks good as well guys another top tip here that the reason this getting rid of this mountain would look good is because we're creating a curve going this way and then the way she's sitting is a curve going this way so you get a really nice complementary curves happening together which again is creating that sense of comfort you know the mountain is like protection it's like all working it's all working guys it's all working oh my god it's all working it's all happening all right baby red square <laughs> right let's see if we can choose any other things now we have this which again i thought would be nice for this bit down here which actually could work but then i feel like i'd be wasting that whole rest of that image let's see i'm going to cut this out Let's see, let's see. I'm going to keep that. Look at that gorgeousness there. Keeping that. Get down and groove. So, let's just trim this off. Watching while working on some new art. Oh, amazing. What stuff are you working on, babes? Let me know if you've got a bow. Like composition flow in the lines or something. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's why it's so useful to watch people making art. If you're interested in creating art or you make your own art, or you're beginner to art, you know, watching people make stuff is really, really super useful. Because, you know, art is a very personal thing as well. And like, what someone likes what one person likes another person might not like but there's still kind of rules that you sort of go by that once you've learned them they become unconscious and you just use them but when you see people using them it helps you to remember what they are i want to too but i'm working on a slideshow for my mum oh are you oh well, let us know about that if you want to for me, it's been a busy time because I'm now at secondary school. So much homework. <gasps> the secondary school life. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard about how much how much homework you get now. I think I was born in a time where we just had a bit of an easier life. <laughs> we didn't have... I don't really remember doing mountains of homework until we got into year 10 when we did GCSEs. Maybe year nine when we kind of prepped for it. But we didn't even do tests in primary school. But nowadays, all the tests happen. Right, let's, let's tuck this under here and let's see what, what we end up with. A little, I quite like this little stairway. It looks very unrealistic, this little stairway here. Uh, it is a photograph, so it is real. And I have seen things like this in the UK. But just something about it in this picture, I don't know whether it's 
the way it's been um, like manipulated in Photoshop has kind of lost a little bit of the depth. So I don't know if that look, looks quite realistic, but I don't mind. Let's see, now can this wall merge with this? somehow I think that might work you know I think that's gonna work I think that's gonna work guys what do you think we could cut a little bit of this out game to me goes in the house oh yeah happy Wednesday ch -ch 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 -ch. happy Wednesday Miko how are you darling how's it going Oh man, I missed secondary school, but it was so hard for me. I tell you what, it was hard for me. I tell you what was hard for me. I had to revise so much for science so that I would even get a good grade. I was revising all the time for science. Uh, our birds for our birds. Oh my god, they came out of the cage. Took three hours to get them back in. <gasps> me go. <laughs> Oh my love, three hot. I could just imagine what that was like. Babes. <laughs> I get 60 plus hours of homework a month from 12 hours a month. So much change and so many more children. Yeah. <laughs> so many more children. Yeah. Yay, Miko's in the house. Ooh, ooh. Hope you're having a lovely Wednesday. Tell me what tea you're drinking. Tell me what's on your mind. Tell me what art you're making. This is lovely, so I'm really happy now. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of this one. This can be, this beautiful scene from Scotland can be for another one, I think, another time. And I'm going to add all these together now. So that should just be, just be, I'm gonna have to make it a little bit thinner because can you see this little gap here? Oh, and actually, I was going to cut it right in there, which means this one might be... Is it still going to work if I cut it there? I want to keep it a bit wider, so I'm going to need some green to go in that, which means I could use this. I tell you what, I could just use this. I'm going to cut this bit out here. I'm going to save the other bit for another time because I really like that little house. Right, I mean, that little house is right by the water. How is that even, like, possible? I mean, there must be... No, that, it's not that much of a, um, a drop there. How is that even possible? Anyway. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Oh, it's kind of like homework. It's bingo slideshow. So I'm making a presentation for that. Yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out how to do like graphic design. So I'm kind of rusty. This. Oh, have fun, Angeli. Having apple juice. Yummy. Nice, nice, nice. <gasps> that sounds fun. A bingo slideshow. <laughs> Two little ducks. 22. All right. So, yeah, let's keep this wide. Like I said, I was gonna trim her off there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need to have this bit of hill in the background here, just for the greenery here. So, all right, let's chop this bit off before we get too bogged down in the details. So this is really the cutout stage now. So we've got everything that we want. We're gonna cut and trim everything where we need to trim it we're gonna make it all nice and neat and beautiful now that all our decisions are made which is happy days i'm so looking forward to getting another piece of art in my collage sketchbook so of course you don't have to use scissors when you're doing collage you can use a scalpel if you want to um, I don't know how to make it fun but it'll be full themed with lots of leaves and trees Angeli 
That sounds so much fun. All right, so this is gonna go here somewhere, and then this is gonna go on top here somewhere. So I'm gonna have to just gather everything together. I'm gonna have to trim this off. Slightly annoyed by that there, but we can always cover that with a bit of green at a later date. Um, and actually I'm gonna kind of gotta trim this off a little bit more, have an eye on either side. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of a bit on this side and see where we get up to. A little bit more on this side. Now I'm not worried about having perfect edges. Like you could use a guillotine if you want to make sure the edges are super straight. Or again, you might want to use like a, a blade and a ruler, like a straight edge, like something like this. And then, you know, make it really super straight. I'm not bothered about that right now. I'm just bothered about the idea. So, and like I said, right at the beginning, we're trying to get away from perfectionism here. We're trying to get into just the whole vibe of fun and easy and simple and enjoyable right a secretary of art every fortnight it's not often enough in my opinion so ideally i would like this here but we've got a tiny little corner there happening so it's going to have to be something like that. Now I feel like I trimmed off a little bit too much, but never mind. Quite like this little pathway happening here. Could we get that pathway happening on top of there? Or would that be... Do you know what I mean? What do you guys feel about that little pathway? It's a river, but it's kind of, I don't know. Actually, now I'm looking up. I think the perspective is wrong, but I sort of like it because it's like a little pathway. Where's the little path going? You know? Hmm. All right, we need this little bit of green under here, don't we? So let's trim that off. Chuck that under there. I sort of like that little pathway. You know what? That river, I might leave it and then I can always cover it like if I don't like it another time but there's something about it that I quite like I know unfortunately love art right art is calming it sure is so her now what I was gonna originally do is cut her out right to the edge but I quite like that bit of background because that bit of background is merging into this wall which is tying up that whole thing the only thing I'm not liking are obviously these pair of legs here. <laughs> we have a pair of legs that we need to get rid of. So I'm going to just like straighten that edge up a bit. Oh, don't go too much there. Straighten that up a little bit. And then we're going to start getting ready to glue in a minute. We're nearly there. This is going to come here. So I'm going to fold this so I know where to cut it. So put that there. Oh, thanks for the love. I 
still mistapping on the screen, you know, when I'm watching people from Periscope. I've still got the whole thing of like tap, 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 tap. Still want to do it. really liking it really liking it this is the bit that's tricky here so we've obviously got this bit to cover up and this bit to cover up so that's fine they can be for the details so let's get to the gluing stage so this is my final decision so we can get to the gluing um i'm just wondering if i could just bring that down just a tiny bit Tuck that in there. Yay! I like it. I love that there's interest in the corners. There's a central image. Interestingly, I thought she was going to be the central image. Do you remember? I said she was going to be the central focus and it ended up being the ruin. I think the pathway works. Me too, because it looks like a pathway, doesn't it? And I could bring that up a little bit like I could bring it forward I could just cut that bit out but I'm just not sure I, I might collage it in at another time but that's looking good so let's get some gluing happening do, 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 do. ghost legs from someone who's on in the Tower of London good connection like it like it no unfortunately let's have let's just gently put a little hill in here and just get rid of the little legs <laughs> the ghost legs nice thanks halo <laughs> the ghost legs whose legs are they we'll never know so the way I'm going to approach this, I'm going to work from the bo bottom up for now. I'm going to glue this to this because that is very much going on the bottom there. And if I look here, it's this section of the fire that is glued onto there. So I'm going to put some glue. Oh, can you see that? You can't see that. Let's go here. So I'm going to put a bit of glue on this section. I'm glad we've had a chat about perspective today. That was what we didn't talk about on the other collage live stream. So I'm glad we've had something slightly different to mention with these kind of inspirational, pictorial. What kind of collage is it? Sort of vision, it's sort of visionary art. Because you're creating a vision of how you want something to be looks great thank you angeli sweetheart visionary collage let's call it visionary collage i'm up for that unless you've got another name if you've got another name for what kind of collage you would say this is let me know so we're going to put this in so let's maybe join maybe i should sort that top bit out there actually because that is looking a little bit wonky. I do love a bit of visionary art. You know, like Alex Gray and all that kind of stuff. So, let us see. Oh, actually, that heel looks. Ooh. What do we think? What do we think? Now that would look weird because that's going in there. We chop it off there. No, I don't know. Let's keep it tucked behind. I quite like that, but then there's a problem here and I don't want don't want to create more problems. We're trying to make it easy here. Let's not create more problems than we need. Another top tip. Don't create more problems. <laughs> in art. <laughs> 
And also I was gonna cut around her head like really perfectly, but I feel like I don't need to because the color is really nice and the color is like bringing it together. So I'm not gonna do that either, which makes my life so easy. Oh, hold on. What am I doing? I've got to bring that down. I've got to fill the gap. Fill the gap. That was the whole point of having that little bit there. Fill the gap. Fill the gap. So let me know what your plans are for the next week. What you up to. Looks so good. Thanks, Alex. How would it look if you cut out the ground in the front of the ruin? That I mean, that's what I was thinking of doing. I'm totally with you, Pooja. That is what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking of like, well, actually, we've got to bring this down. Because I was thinking of like bringing this forward. But I'm just, because the lake is quite wide there, if that was all green, then I would do it. But because it's like a lake, I don't want there to be water there, right? I want it to be... Um, I want it to be ground so I'll totally hear you oh, I'm going to have to stick that again I'll totally hear you but what I think I'm going to have to do is like cut this I mean that little path that little actually could even lead that path to the door pew pew pew, pew. Lead, the, lead lead the path to the door so then your eye is going, oh my God, look at that beautiful fire. I'm completely chilling out. Then I'm going to hop on over this little bit here. And then I'm going to go on this little walkway on the path to the temple. Maybe even that takes you to the other side of this massive rock. And then you're in this like valley. The story has been created. The story has been created right here, right now. That, I mean, this is so fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Right, so I'm going to stick that on there. Stick that there. I mean, that lake, it does seem a shame to like cover up that lake. But that's what's happening. And then I'm going to stick this on here. And then we have... I mean, I could even make some more sky. I could put this quite low and I could put some sky behind. That could be quite nice. And I also need to like trim this up a little bit. So let's just get that very roughly stuck in place. Yes! Pew, 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 pew. Horn noises! Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> My mum's joining me for the last 20 minutes. Hi Celeste, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. How are you? Horn noise. Yes. Oh yes. Oh, oh, put a bit, a little bit too high there. <gasps> be all right, be all right. Just pretend we didn't do that. All right. So, let's trim it up. Let's trim it up so we're on the final, sort of, final touches stage. Trimming up the edge. As I said, you could put this in a guillotine if you want it to be super straight. I'm just taking my life easy, so I'm not too bothered. I don't mind a little bit of wibbly wobbliness. That's like, we're all a bit wibbly wobbly, aren't we, after the lockdown? <laughs> you know what I mean? Just trim this up. Move that around. Very happy very very happy we got about 15 minutes left of the stream so why don't we just like look at doing some details let's look if we can see find a little bit of sky or make this little path go to the to the entrance of this mountain here i'm just loving it well i do feel like i'm gonna have to trim around the hat just a little bit as well let's give it a little trim we'll stick her under there or on top of there should i say Bit of fire. Do, 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 do. See, because I've got space. If I move that right down there, I could put some sky up there and see if like any sky sort of matches. 
which could be nice. We could have a little bit of sky. She says, hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Celeste, how are you? How's life, you been all right? How's work and everything? I hope it's going good. Pew, 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 for Leona's epiphany, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> That's what you want with art though, right? You wanna have a little epiphany. Just even if it's a little one, you know? Sometimes, now don't get me wrong, those days aren't always like the days, right? Sometimes we don't have epiphany moments. And that's fine too, right? We just got to go with the flow. But today is one of those days. So yes, and I'm happy it's on the stream. <laughs> right, so maybe a little bit of sky, possibly. I mean, just, we need it to go across the full page, don't we? So let's just see if we got, I mean, we could just bung some blue in there. But I don't know if that would be even worth it. Mm, it does bring it up a little bit. Could be nice. Let's just see if there's some sky. I'm not going to like think about it too much. 30 seconds. Some sky. Sky going across. Ooh, that's quite nice. That kind of matches. Kind of matches that, doesn't it? What do you think? Alex's mum chatting. Nice to see you. Hope is well. Hope all is well. Yay! Thank you, sweetie. We could do. Let's just get that. Let's just get it. Let's just get it and see. Right, just a little bit. Just a little bit of sky. And then we'll see what we can do about that pathway. And then we'll be done for today. Satisfaction in 90 minutes. Should I rename this stream Satisfaction in 90 minutes? How to get satisfying. How to get satisfied. Maybe that would like, yeah, maybe that could be good, you know. How to get satisfied by art. Oh, but then we've got trees here. Unnecessary, unnecessary. Unnecessary, we need to put something there for the trees. Trees, legs, path. Let's see if we can get any of that done in this time frame. We need to get rid of that. So what could we put there? We need like just a little bit of, we could use a bit of this rock to carry on. There's rocks here, there's rocks here. It's all working. We could, does that look too far away though? What do you think? I don't know, I don't know actually. I don't know, I don't know. It looks, the rocks just look, don't look right. No to those rocks. All right, no to those rocks. So we've got 10 minutes left. So let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you got coming up, what's happening and all that good stuff. I'm gonna see if I can find something to put there. Some kind of like greenery, some kind of rocks, but it's gotta be the right perspective. Let's just see if we can find anything else. And in the meantime, look at some beautiful pictures, right? Looking at some beautiful pictures, I mean. Yes, please. So next week's stream will be a painting stream, more than likely. Uh, so no more collage for a bit. If you are interested in doing collage, I have plenty of lovely collage projects in my art academy. So go to the craft section in there and have a little look. I do love my collage. <gasps> oh my God, got to use that for something. Another time. That looks just like a mystical, magical place. It's Brazil. Yes, please take me there. Thank you. <laughs> 
gorgeous. <gasps> oh, that is that salt. Yeah. Now that looks a cool. That looks. Oh my god, this is so good. I don't think I've actually showed you this one yet. So we'll have a nice little quick skim of this and just see if we can find anything to finish off. I think the rocks were too dark for the foreground. I think you are completely right, Angelou. Too dark and too uh, the wrong perspective. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. I mean, I'm a sucker and I'm a bit old school because I love looking at magazines and things. But of course you can find these beautiful kind of imagery on Instagram and Pinterest and all that kind of stuff. I just think, you know what we were talking about last time about how like just things that you hold in your hand is just so lovely and you can't quite get the same from a digital image. But I do think that's just a personal opinion because it also maybe depends how old you are like we had you know the first time i had the internet was when i was 16 so you know it's a different time so i have a special connection to things that you can hold so i also get the whole see things digitally thing but it's a bit like traditional all traditional art if you make a painting you want to like be touching it be touching the paint and getting into it and you want to see paintings in real life so you know digital is great but then like have something to hold in your hand i mean you could argue as well that these are photographs <laughs> and it's just like you're holding a book <laughs> it's just whatever you like <laughs> whatever you like yeah lovely art right What about this? What about that rock there? That could work. Should we try that? Let's try a bit of this rock. What's on the other side first? Oh yeah, I'm not bothered about grease. As much as it's beautiful, not bothered about it. Let's see, let's see. I still feel like it's just like a big hefty... Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. If we keep it... If we could... We could kind of cut it like that. That could work. But let's try and go right the way, as further down as we can. I think... See, his leg comes out there. So what about if we just nip that in there? Yeah. I think we got it. Yeah, here. Here, here, here. Bye, leg. <laughs> Bye for now. I could also bring that stick, but no, I'm not going to because it's not going to look realistic. All right, let's turn it around, chop it off. Oh, a really good idea as well with your collages as well is to stick it on the back. So you see how I've got all these like little pieces like flipping around here and here. You want to just give that a glue down because obviously make sure of any holes and stuff but you want to just make sure you know your artwork is intact it's really important um yeah digital collage isn't always a satisfying yeah i find that like doing something like here and then putting it into the computer and adding things to it is really fun and there's plenty of collage artists that use digital artworks, uh, digital images for their artworks. Um, so it just depends what you like. It's just that I'm on computers for other things and I like having my art in a different place, you know? But it's just what you like, isn't it? 
Uh, so nice art and I'm excited for painting. Is that Alex? <laughs> that is nice. I'm liking that little rock. It doesn't look like it's in the way too much. It looks like it's just tucking her behind a little bit. So maybe emphasising that kind of like comfy sort of cosy protection thing that the rocks are giving which is really lovely how long we got we got five minutes left so let's see if i can get a bit of tree to go there and not spoil anything i don't want to spoil any images i mean i could get a bit off of that that could work it's a bit of a different green but i don't think we're going to get anything like oh look at all that how gorgeous is that? Thank you, Halo. Hope your work's going good. Right, I'm going to take a bit of this because I think it's going to be fine. whack that up here this is going to look a bit odd unfortunately there's not really much I can do about that I'm going to just cut that I mean, it doesn't massively notice does it that's the thing really I'm just covering that Covering this bit here. Trim that off. That's not ideal, but what can you do? The most important thing is it's not noticeable. You know, you're not like looking over there. I can always put something else there. And then all I've got to do is that little pathway, which would require me to get something that's a similar colour, which this could be. Get rid of that line. This could be good. Let's put our little birdies down here. We didn't put our little birds on. So let's have a look. Let's get a little pencil. We've got a few minutes left. So let's get a little pencil. Let's see if we can. Like, oh, I was gonna go to the to the door. So I've got to kind of wing this a little bit. Let's see if we can get to the door. Oh, there's a little cut in there. Right, let's do that for now. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. Let's see if it's gonna work. Let's just have a little look. Will it work? Won't it work? Let's have a look. I mean, it already looks way too bright, but I could be getting a shape here that would work. So let's see. So let's cut this off here and then where's the door it's there all right let's see let's see this could be being way too optimistic but we like a little bit of optimism don't we we like a little bit of optimism uh by the way we have art every fortnight and textiles every week oh you have textiles more than art well that's fun and then we need to make this. There's a lot that I need to do here to make this look good. So maybe this comes around. This is far too ambitious for like the last couple of minutes of the stream. <laughs> I'm really trying. The good thing is, is if this colour doesn't work, Maybe I'll get the nice shape. We'll see, won't we? We'll see. 
still think it needs to be thinner than this. It's not right, is it? It's not right at all, but you get what I'm trying to do here. Let's cut that off. Oh, textiles is 100% a form of art. 100%. Oh my god, get yourself to the British Museum and see some of the amazing textiles from all over the world. Textiles really influences me in mosaics. So here, this bit's going to get thinner. Why am I doing this now? Why have I decided that this is a good idea? Because I like to finish things off. <laughs> it's sort of working sort of maybe a bit thinner in there but a different colour maybe like just not so bright like a sort of it almost needs to be similar to this colour so just like and then we chop that bit off I'm quite liking it but we need another colour. We need another colour. We're going to do it. We're now over time. But let's do it. Let's find the final piece. I mean, it could be. Could it be textured like this? Would that work? Or would that look weird? A little bit of... No. It needs to be... It just needs to be a little bit darker than that. So let's find... A darker grey. I mean, could it be that? Could it be the actual rocks that it was? Would that no? That's weird. We still don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> what tea are you having? I got mint tea. See the mint at the bottom there, and there's a bit of fennel in there as well. Have you got any of of your apple juice left? All right. Let's just see if we can find a grey that's a, sort of a grey-blue. I mean, this is really... I'm being really optimistic. I mean, we could do it out of water. Like something like that. That colour. That's maybe too close. What do you think? Just gotta be a bit darker. It's gotta be a little bit darker. Darker grey, darker grey, come on. What can we do? What can we do? I could colour it but then it's gonna have a different just to see if like this is the grey I'm not gonna keep this obviously but I'm just wondering if this is the kind of grey we're looking for what do we think no more apple juice but no way Mint tea with real mint is my fave. <laughs> is it? Is it really? Looks really nice. Thank you. I just need a grey. That's all I need. Maybe I'll have a look on some of my bits that I've already had chopped up. See if I can find a bit of a grey. And if I can't, then that looks like that'll be it. little bit of grey. See, grey isn't really the kind of thing that I would keep, right? Because I'm all about the bright colours. So, 
Oh, what about on here? Ooh, here we go. So I've got these images of rugs, right? But there's some grey on here. Is this this kind of grey? Yes. Or even this kind of grey. All right. This is the moment of truth, guys. This is the moment. This is the moment. Let's cut this out. The rugs have saved the day. Maybe it needs to be thinner. 100% needs to be thinner. Yeah, 100%. I'm going to do that right now. Thank you, Pooja. Or is that too dark? I might have to... like a little that actually is working that is working I just need a way for it to connect to this one so I need this to come in here I think this might be it thanks Pooja And then maybe should get rid of this maybe. Let's fold this up and see. I think what I'm gonna do that a little I'm liking it I'm liking it I'm gonna stick it down I'm sticking it down I'm sticking it down the final piece is done we found it persistence is key never give up never give in keep on moving it i'm happy i'm happy for now i might change something in it another time but i'm happy for now because it's connected so what i could do is i could put something there something could happen which i'm not quite sure of what exactly maybe something here just to kind of like obscure this bit something really small like some greenery something going off there maybe maybe but look i'm happy with that i'm happy i'm so happy that i mastered the pathway very happy that i mastered the pathway and there we go so let's stick it down i'm going to keep my little birds for another time i'm going to stick this all down oh it has kind of stuck to the bottom of it Let's give it a glue all the way round. And we're done. So remember, you can do painting, you can do drawing, you can do collage, you can do anything you like in the masterclass. The next one is in October. I think it's the 6th of October, the first Wednesday. Come and join us. We'd absolutely love to have you uh there's the link the link is also in the description or should i say there's the url and the link is in the description come and join us we'll be having a lovely fun time i'm gonna put it in the middle i'm not gonna worry about the sky now but having another sky yeah i'm super happy with that i have to go now thank you for the stream thanks to the company loved it so did my mum amazing have a good evening stay safe and well hope to see you next week bye for now alex thanks for joining lovely to have you lovely to have you celeste very happy feeling very comfortable and relaxed it's another nice comfortable relaxed artwork from me 
very happy with that. Very, very, very happy. Really nice and enjoyable, quick artwork to create in an hour and a half, just over an hour and a half. Um, yeah, all about perspective today, which is really interesting. Thank you for the love, Halo. Thank you for the love. So yeah, there we go. All done for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was so lovely to have you here. I hope you've enjoyed an insight into collage art. I hope you'll give it a go if you've watched all the way through and you're like, actually, this looks really easy. Maybe this could be the art form for me. Then give it a go. Buy yourself some magazines or just collect stuff. Start collecting stuff now because then like in a month's time, you'll have a bunch of stuff to use. And it's really nice. You can create so many things with collage. This is just one type of artwork. Obviously, there's so many other things you can create. I was even thinking about doing a collage mandala today because that would have been really good. Maybe that's for another stream, another time. But a collage mandala would be really, really great. But anyway, I'm going to be back to painting next week so come join me wednesdays 7 p.m bst soon it will be gmt i'm sure you guys your clocks are going to be changing really soon so you're gonna to have to let me know when that is please let me know when your clocks change so i get the right time um it will always be 7 p.m in the uk so you might have to check but i will do my best to make sure the times get tallied but always at this time of year we're a bit like oh my god the hour where's the hour gone where are we <laughs> gorgeous thank you so much angeli keep me posted with all your lovely work that you're doing uh, if you want to join we've got a facebook group facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash creative inspiration group so if you want to post your art in there or just post things that inspire you make you go wow come on in you're very welcome and uh just hang out with us because it's like a happy time and obviously we've got all this happening in the members in the academy so if you want to draw and paint some fruit in complementary colors super bright and colorful just the way i like it <laughs> you need a bit of color especially if you're a beginner in art you need some color right so i hope that i really inspire you with the color for sure Thank you so much for joining. It was so great to see you. Put it in your diaries for next week. Remember this stream isn't just for following along. You've got loads of different options with this stream. You can either follow along with the project I'm doing, do your own kind of project as the stream is going. You can kind of make notes and think, how can I use this to create my own piece of art? Or you can just like sit back and relax and just do whatever you're doing, whether it's the washing up, making dinner, making lunch, whatever you're doing. Like this is a nice time to book in, factor in and get those chilled art vibes and lots of satisfaction in there as well. One hour back. Yeah, keep me posted when it happens so I know. Thank you so much. I see you guys really soon. Thank you so much for hanging out. We had loads of fun as usual. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye everybody. Thank you for joining. Bye. Stay creative.